Muhammad says, when wiping the ear, do we have to wipe the entire outer and inner ear or just a part of it? The same question that Muhammad asked about the ear, people usually and often ask about wiping over the head. Now, in the Quran, in chapter 5, where it talks about performing evolution, Allah says, Azza wa Jal, to wipe over the head. And so many people come and say, wiping over the head, after finishing it, I find them there are spots that are not wet or may not have been reached by my wiping. So do I have to do it again? We have to understand that there is a difference between washing and wiping. When you wipe, you do not wash. You simply pass your hand over the organ, whether you're wiping over your socks or wiping over your hair. So when I wipe over my hair and come back, definitely not every single strand of hair would be covered because one, my hand is not filled with water. It's just wet. So maybe by doing this, it would have been dried and not sufficient to wipe over the rest. I don't have to take new water. Only one time where I wet my hands and wipe with it. Likewise, when it comes to wiping over your feet or socks, that is, you don't have to see it all wet. Otherwise, I would have washed it. And when it comes to the ears, the same goes for that. With the same hands, with the same water that I use in the, initially, and I wipe over my hair or my head, if I don't have hair, then I just simply do this. Put my index finger in my inner ear, my thumbs in the outer ear, and do this, and that's it. And this is not to say it's symbolic, but it is not washing. It's just simply wiping it. It doesn't have to cover every single uh, a centimeter or, or millimeter uh, of the ear. You don't have to go into the cavities as well. Only the inner side that you can wipe with your index fingers and the outer side. And that is it. And Allah knows best.